Hi, it's James Taylor, keynote speaker on creativity, innovation, and artificial intelligence, and the founder of Speakers U. Today, I'm in here in Beirut, Lebanon, this beautiful city that just sits on the water here. And a question I was asked a few days ago, I was speaking in Chennai, India, for the Professional Speakers Association of India's annual summit. And someone asked me this question, and I, I, I kind of really, can really reflect on it before being able to give an answer. And the question was this, what is the difference between speaking and training, be, being a, a professional speaker and a, and a professional trainer? Because we often see these things used together. And at this event that I did here yesterday in Beirut, I was actually having to do both. I, I was giving a keynote, and then I was also doing a half-day workshop. I was being both a speaker and a trainer. Now, you don't have to be both a speaker and a trainer. You can just be a trainer, and you can just be a speaker. But I, I encourage you, actually, if you have the ability to be able to do it, try and be able to do both of these things because they can actually complement. But they are different. They require different skill sets. But one of the biggest differences between speaking and training is what I call the 70-30 rule. So when you go up and you give any kind of speech, any kind of presentation, keynote, or in a speaking in a breakout group, then what you'll tend to find is 70% of what you'll be doing is really presenting. It's presenting information. It's inspiring, educa educating in that way. And about 30% of it is getting feedback from the audience, working with the audience, having a conversation with the audience, asking questions of the audience. So it's that kind of 70-30. So 70 is almost like transmitting, 30% is receiving and having that conversation. When you do training, on the other hand, it's, you actually have to flip it around. So it's going to be that thir only 30% is actually going to be you presenting ideas uh, and, and kind of speaking in that type of way. And the vast majority of it, 70% of it, is facilitating, having those conversations, pulling out the best in other people. So you, essentially, you're flipping these things around. So they are complementary skills, but they're not the same skill. So you can become a great keynote speaker and you don't have to be a, a great trainer or, or likewise or, or flip, flip around the other side. But I think there's really an opportunity now in a lot of events where a lot of people say to me, James, we'd love you to come and give a keynote. And if, if you'd be so kind as to come give a 90 minute workshop or a half day workshop, there's huge opportunity there. But it does require that you just flip things around a little bit and you develop each of these skills in a really focused and disciplined way. My name's James Taylor, and I wish you great success with your speaking. This episode of The Speaker's Life is sponsored by eSpeakers, the innovative platform that connects speakers with event organizers and associations. eSpeakers provides cutting edge tools that will elevate your online presence, streamline your speaking business, and maximize your exposure in the speaking industry. With over 15 years in the business, 10,000 speakers in their community, and over 20,000 events managed annually, eSpeakers is the preferred choice for top speakers. You can create your own profile on eSpeakers today by going to speakersu.com forward slash eSpeakers.